I made this little critter about 30 years ago and I hid it from the rest of the world because I always need an edge. I call it a Dahlberg diving frog. It's actually based on a fly design I made when I was a kid. On the surface it just floats like a regular frog, but if you give it a pull, you're going to make a little bubble and dive underwater. Most of our frog imitation just sort of skip on the surface. What this boy does, if you give it a stroke, the length of a frog kick, it kicks just like a real frog. It'll always land right side up. And it is virtually weedless. The frogs we've got today were designed to slide over the top of slop. And they're deadly effective. When you get into a pocket in the pads or whatever, they're not quite as convincing as they, they might be. What this diver frog will do, it'll do everything that your standard frog will do, but when you get it into open water, you can make it swim. When you get it into uh, water so deep, you can make it dive deep enough to act like it's hiding in the bottom. And what it does, it's uh, simply the most effective way to trigger a fish that's chasing things that are up near the surface. With a regular frog, he blows up, doesn't get it, you throw him a jig. With this frog, he blows up, you just give him a little bit of sex appeal and he eats it. It's far more weedless than you'd ever expect. It's far more convincing than any frog that's ever been made. It's got a hook that you could pull an engine out of a car with. It's a 95% hookup ratio. You can get it at, at River to Sea.